All right, headed from Mount Bonald to Austin 360 Overlook. Let's do this. And the uh, the roads out here in Austin are actually like pretty windy, so maybe that's why a lot of these West Coast California people are trying to move here. Um, specifically, the ones like out in the hills, like in Northern California, San Francisco, or uh, like SoCal, somewhere around there. You know, that kind of emulates, I think, like a lot of the like windy hills and stuff that they kind of encounter over there. It's about like a, probably like a seven minute drive or something, I think, from Mount Bonnell to 360. See this Rolex? Oh, and some of the houses out here too are like really cool looking. Like just in terms of like the architecture and stuff. Kind of modern almost. I don't know. See I drive an Audi A7 2015. Got about 74,000 miles on it. Take a face of maneuvers. Get that 4K action POV. See, a lot of people actually don't even know that um, Austin has like some really good views and a lot of hills and stuff. Whenever people think of Austin, primarily any anyone like new for, that's coming to Austin, um, and whenever I show them this area, they're kind of like mind blown. And then they understand why people want to move here because, I mean, there's like tons of things to do outside, outside of just going to the city. Lots of cool looking views. Like, you can't really see it, but. Look at these giant hills and like ravines. I think that's all limestone. the county line right there that's an amazing barbecue place it has all you can eat for about like 30 bucks you can go there and just pig out on like brisket and ribs it's it's pretty good it's one of my favorite places and I mean I know you have like Franklin's and all these other like you know other really famous and well-known places but Honestly, County Lion does the trick for me.
it's kind of funny. There's uh, quite a lot of people that just kind of park on the side right here. And sometimes it's so backed up that it goes all along this little road right here. And then one time I was driving through and one of those rocks actually fell and hit a car. So if you ever come down here, you gotta be pretty careful about that. What a beautiful car. Headed up to the 360 overlook. <sighs> this is definitely a workout, though, that's for sure. get like an incremental view man here we are Austin 360 overlook you know, if this YouTube channel ever actually makes it big I'm probably gonna try and buy one of these like wakeboarding boats and then film some like epic montage out up down on the river how cool would that be Maybe I'll do like a time lapse and hide my GoPro down here one of these days and then just film it for like an entire day. And that way you could have like kind of like study panoramic views and stuff. Kind of like ambient noise. But except you actually have a view too if you were to look at the screen. And uh, one of my buddies too the other day or last weekend um, they came down here and rented a boat for I want to say about like 400 bucks for probably like the whole afternoon so if you ever want to come down here and actually run a boat uh, have a good time on a nice day like today then you certainly do that 
I think the the renting place is like down there somewhere, closer to the city probably. That's so cool. Just come out here and like lay out in the sun, have a good time. So you can actually like go all the way up there, but it's usually a lot more congested. So down here is a lot more private. All these people are probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. Mount Bonnell and Austin 360 Overlook. And you could also even go over there. I, I haven't really been over there yet, but you just get a different vantage point on the bridge. It's funny, there's always like helicopters flying around. Probably private helicopters, if I had to guess. Because this can be a pretty ritzy area in, uh, in Austin. So many dang cedar trees. If you ever move here to Austin or Texas, get ready for having some good allergies because cedars are plenty abundant. I always end up slipping on these. People are probably looking at me all, all weird. <laughs> they probably think I'm either crazy or some famous YouTuber already. Not yet though. One day though, you never know. Alrighty y'all, I'll talk to you later.